Previously on the Call of the Flame. Where the king are, where the orc kings are. And the girl is going there. Let's go. Tarek's brother. This is Hrundar, the Spellbreaker. I cut you with this, and you'll never cast again. If you spill blood in this hall, your bloodline will be cursed. Girls, this is Danar. You, girl, are going to help us find the one and true king. It's an encounter spell book. Let the winds guide me to what is mine, my texts, so that I can see your will done. Morians, souls from the deep god's hell, they're here for me! What? <laughs> it's father! The Call of the Flame, an audio play. Chapter 9, The Lays of Working Car. Part 3 of 3. There's more coming! No! No! Get away! Rook, your sword! Your sword! No! Go back to hell! Why didn't you stab him? Our weapons are not killing them! Only slowing them down! The lights! There's hundreds of them! It's their eyes! We're near shore. We are out of the water at this. They won't stop them. We need to get as far away from the water as we can before. Ah. Run! Don't look back, Jinko. Just run. I can see the door. The tower. This way. Uh, I am at the door, but it's bolted. Raise the lever. Uh, 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 it's back beast. Uh, ten. Close. Close it. Close the door. Uh, was, did you always have those glowing ruins on your blade? Uh, <sighs> that door won't hold long. We take the stairs up, and take the bridge into the mountains. What are we to do about the Morians? Same thing I've been doing all these years. Running, and staying the hell away from the water. Where is it? Where is it? Ah! He's gone. <gasps> Give me that book. Okay. No, curse you, you little. <laughs> we have to get out of here. Myrtle, what is it? Oh, Tobin. They call him the Chimera. He's after us. I mean, I slowed him down. I threw one of my cookbooks into the water for him to go after. Did he have a horned lion mask? I... Uh, yes. Yes, he does. Scald. Girls. We're not in the hall anymore, Moon Rogue. Get out the of here! The seize your ship. We demand your presence, all of you. Damn this sudden snow. Move, girl. What's she doing? Here's money. Human girl. King Orc. What's luck I'm invisible, really? What's the meaning of this? 
Skald, here they are. The Fire Maiden and her accomplices. What do you make of them? Ultavin. You know this Skald? Yes. He's a sorcerer. He serves the Dark Bride. He sits on the council in Windhold. He's a schemer and a murderous liar! I've been to Windhold many times, it is true. I am a friend to all lands. Blue Hood has been a friend and healer for over six winters. I trust him more than the likes of you. He just tried to kill me! I did. You don't know who you're harboring under this roof. Do you not know who he is? He's Ultavin, the Chimera. He's a sorcerer. Scald. He led us of the human plague from the west to this grave. Pestilence. We welcome his abilities when the nights are darkest. Who do you think makes them that way? Witches, warlocks, and fire starters. These two kidnapped me. What? what? Escaping the city watch, arson in Burry, and mutilating a knight in the most gruesome of ways. And that is to say nothing of their kidnapping of my person. They've bound me and stole my valuable texts. See? His hands were bound. I can see the marks. A liar! Then it is settled. Take them to the chopping block. No. One could argue that this girl simply cannot control her fire. And all her running and thieving are the acts of a scared child. Give them over to me. I will see that the sentence fits the crime. Talok. Brother. You are making a mistake. Skull. I will lend you my guns. Tarok lives! What are you doing? That's right. You're one true king. He lives, and only I know where. That's why I'm here. To lead you to him. Be silent! If he were here, you know what he'd do? He wouldn't let your country fall to starvation. He would make peace with your enemies, not incite them to war. And he wouldn't bend to the will of villainy. You're a stupid, spineless cur. And the only throne fit for you is in the privy. Stop! Oh, no! Done. Shame upon us! You struck me! Time to go, Myrtle! Myrtle? Where are you? You can't! What have you done? You struck her! You're home! This could have a thousand years! Come here! Why are you making? Books. Now. 
can't let them have it. What's in them? Encanted texts. Forbidden ones, dark and evil rituals. The texts from which the night's plague was made and killed half the world. Run, little halfling. Run! I can't! Oh, the snow is too deep and I'm too... You are between me and everlasting peace. Just walk away. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> You all go first. I'm the one they are after. Which is exactly why we should shield you. You can't protect me, dwarf. Only this can. Oh, well then please, get in the back. Can you see, dwarf? Not very well- Ugh! We're out of time! Wait, wait! There's a step missing! Ah! Stop squirming! Put yourself to- Damn. Please still be there. Please still be there. The bridge! Taruk, this bridge seems to be as old as I am. But not as well kept. Thank you. One at a time. You first, Elven. Go! Why me? <laughs> okay, this is fine. Here they come. Keep them back. <laughs> On the other side! Come on! Take Oh! Come on! I'm coming! And I threw your carcass in the sea. Oh, it the bridge! Rapping's reach from the lone boy. I can't find peace in the next world. Not the bridge. Orc! There's more behind you! You stopped! What are you doing? No! <laughs> he lives! Demorians fell, but he clings onto the rocks below. <laughs> what is that? Tentacles! <laughs> The screaming wind falls silent. The frost-bidden tears cease. The sky of a working gar falls dark. 
Capri carries her friend into the household of the now dead blacksmith as the mighty rook trudges through the snow in search. Denal is dead. Myrtle is alive, but badly hurt. Neither of you can stay. Take care of her. Rook, you're bleeding. Talog struck me after I struck him. In the Hall of Our Fathers. We have now, both of us, brought shame to the family, spilled the blood of our kin in our hall, and brought the curse upon our house. Tarok is our only hope now. He is good, the last of us that is good. Promise me you will do this. What if he isn't? The last that is good? What if he's lost? Then you must find him. Okay. Is it true? My hand still burns. And the sword was a, a lie. lie. <laughs> Do you have protection? My fire? Hand and all smithing hammer. What will you do? What will I do? What's bloody responsible? The last to go for the nest. A door. Head be. Come now, men of Ballas, we're not out of the woods yet. Actually, we are. There's a great field, and a farm just that way. Praise the chieftain. I've grown weary of surviving on berries and day-old venison. Don't let your mouths water yet. There's no guarantee our hospitality will be received. Scarlet, just you and me will approach the homestead. Why just us? Because the locals might be more forthcoming to host a band of thieves if the two most charming did the talking. If it's a woman, she may fancy me. If it's a man, he'll You'll also fancy, fancy me. me. Yeah, yes, I, I was going to say that. There's a mark on the door. A white X. Now what could that mean? Is there anyone inside? <gasps> what is it? Dead. All of them. Dead. All the animals, too. The mark. It's for the grave pestilence. I thought it was only in Windhold. It was. And now it's to Bella. Soon, everywhere. The Flame, starring Bonnie Bogovich, 
Stephen Cumberworth, Jacob Williamson, Corey Borchers, Ash Williams, Abigail Turner, Zach Zathian Young, Gary Gibbs II, and Sarah Ruth Thomas as Nurain. For the full cast list and episode transcripts, please visit thecalloftheflame.com. This podcast was written and produced by Kurt Kanyes, with music by Adam Halpin, with additional tracks by Stephen Cumberworth. Both can be found on Bandcamp. Sonoran Speech by Megan Watson. Editing by Kurt Kanyes and Sasha Bloor. Read the podcast description and follow us on our pages of media. Send a bird bearing the hashtag COTF podcast. Join our Discord to meet the cast and crew. But for bonus audio, music, and updates on the upcoming book too, visit patreon.com forward slash the call of the flame. To ask us about sponsorship, send an electronic letter to the call of the flame podcast at gmail.com. Special thank you to our Patreons. Bin Blair, Cassie Yim, Cloudy Evelidge, John Doyle, John Winstead, Ryan Cushman, and Zane Simon. Gather around in two weeks for the next installment of our play. And now a message from our playwright. Hi everybody, this is Kurt, or Rubbish Log, however you like to call me. I am amorphous in that way. First of all, I want to thank you all so much. We were nominated for a lot of different categories for uh, the Audioverse Awards. I see us up for performances, um, for audio design related categories. I cannot be happy to see so many of our crew's names up there. Uh, Stephen Cumberworth for Veladius, Bonnie Bogovich as Bree, Corey Borchers as Taruk, George Miller Hochter as the narrator, Abigail Turner as Myrtle. Best instrumental composition for Adam Halpin for the Call of the Flames theme. Thank you so much for that one. And for myself, Kurt Peterson, you see me for uh, Best Writing in an Audio Play Production with Nadia, uh, my co-writer and sister. Best Environmental Sound Design, Best Action Sound Design, and if this chapter isn't a shoo-in for that, then I will have to take a long nap. Not like a euphemism for anything, but like, you know, for my personal health and whatnot. And of course, Best Audio Play Production in general. The deadline is October 31st. Go out there and vote uh, before you go trick-or-treating. Definitely give us a vote and share it around. I'll be plugging this like crazy on Twitter. And second thing, I'll be appearing on an episode of Personalize. Uh, it's an upcoming podcast that does a lot of interviews. And on it, we uh, talk about writing and uh, Game of Thrones and video games and the future of The Call of the Flame and what I have in store for that. As well as uh, we touch on uh, my internet roots as uh, in Machinima. That's uh, where I really got my start. But hey, thank you all so much. Check both of those things out. Give us a vote. And I will let the award-winning voice of Hockter take it away. This has been a Magnia production. I am your narrator, George Hochter. We thank you all for listening. 